Hello everyone, welcome once again to HabitronicsDirect.com. My name is Hugo Almeida and today I'm very pleased because we got a guest here, my good buddy here, Ted Conosoglis, expert in telecommunications, data and also video. Works on a daily basis, whether it's pulling the cable, installing systems, but the thing is, since he visited, he can't leave until he does a couple videos with us. Right. So while he's here, I want to bring to you how to punch down properly Keystone Jacks. Cat 5 and Cat 6, we might as well tackle both of them while he's here. Now, a couple things I'm going to ask Ted is, first off, what do I need if I want to properly install a Keystone Jack, punch down the cable, and, and, and do a nice, nice finish? Okay, well that's quite simple. First and foremost, you're going to need a punch down tool. You're going to need a scissors. Um, again, a matter of preference, when you're on the job, what you feel comfortable with, what's going to get you through it quicker and more accurate. You can also use some kind of a, sp uh, a stripper that takes the coating off the cable. Cool. So guys, check it out in a matter of seconds here. We're going to have a step-by-step -step, uh, explanation by Ted, how we go about punching down Cat 5 e and Cat 6 to the Keystone Jacks. Check it out. Alright, you start with a Cat 5 cable, you strip it back, bend it a couple times, stripped it. Take string, cut that, and then what you want to do is separate your pairs. Now what I do is I take a, a screwdriver like this and I get it in between the two cables and just push up. And you do it again over here for the, for the green pairs, and then you have the blue and the orange. Once you get them all separated, you line them up to your jack. Each one is different, so please make sure that you watch the color codes. Most people use 568B, but again, make sure you check before you do anything. So you take your brown pair, take your blue pair, and just push them down into the little slots. And you take your orange, and finally your green. Now the important thing is, when you're at a job site, if you have nice desks around or anything like that, or walls, you don't want to punch them down on anything nice. So you want to get some kind of a pad something that will protect the surface that you're going to punch down on. And then basically you take your punch tool and just punch it right down. Making sure to use the cut part on the outside of your punches. Now some people like to do a double punch. You can do that, which just means I find that when you're using Cat 5, it's probably easier just to do one punch. And then whatever else isn't there, just kind of pull it off. And there you have it. Always check your pairs first before you close up. Take your cover. Stick it down in here. And there you have a Cat 5 E punch. There you have it, my friends. Thank you, Ted, so much for stopping by and showing us how to punch down the proper way. A Cat 5 E, Cat 6 Keystone Jack with... Cat5V and Cat6 cable. Couple simple tools, again, keep in mind. Punch down tool with the 110 blade and the cut on the blade itself. For those that have uh, a preference, we do have, it's called a Smart Strip by Ripley Tools to prepare the cable. Or, if you want, we have the electrician scissors as well to strip and prepare the cable. That's a preference. Keep in mind, sometimes we have these little base rubber to absorb the punch down so you're not doing it up against the wall or on furniture sometimes we'll throw these in for nothing so keep us in mind for your next application whether it's voice whether it's video or data and if anybody needs professional cabling whether it's again voice video or data Ted Conosag is available shoot us an email sales at abitronics.com again my friends follow us on Twitter become a fan on Facebook make the connection Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.